At courtside at Holt Fieldhouse on the Domino's Post Game Report, I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, congratulations. Open the doors to Holt with a 113-98 uh, to 98 win over the Shore Hawks and got the job done with a uh, a frenetic, heart-stopping pace of play. Jumped out to an 18-4 lead. What did you see out of your team, especially uh, with how quick they played today? First of all, I thought, uh, I, th I thought our defensive intensity and our, our ball pressure and just our all defensive approach to start the game was was at a, at a really, really high level. And we were capitalizing on the offensive end. I mean, we shot the ball very well. We, we were able to get it down the court very quick and fast <coughs> and kept uh, our opponent on their heels. Uh, and, I mean, I, I, I was very, very pleased with the way we started uh, and just the, the, the aggressiveness and, and, and the approach and, and all this in, in front of a really nice – home opening crowd I, I thought we had a really really good good uh, atmosphere tonight uh, <coughs> you, you look at this game you spread the love around yeah uh, it's the kind of game that a Mason Bates would love because you know <laughs> he's going to get 10 or so yeah uh, but seven guys finishing double figures uh, how did you attain that level of balance well we thought all along that we had guys on any given night could jump up and do that uh, and then on nights like tonight when everybody is chipping in and making shots and sharing the ball and <coughs> things like this can happen so um you know, I'm I'm glad that we that we have that many guys capable of jumping up there and, and putting putting double digits on the board. Uh, Trip Davis <coughs> has 16. Camille Chapman has 16. EJ Bush has 16. What sticks out to you about those three? Uh, that all three had 16. <laughs> you asked <laughs> me that question, I'll give you that, that answer. Is, that's, that's fair. Um, that's fair. <laughs> well played. Uh, well crafted, <laughs> Chuck. Get out of here. But uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, this all three of these guys their first their first <laughs> night in Holt, uh, and 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 and. You know, the, the gym was kind to them. Uh, so, obviously, um, I'm happy for them. Uh, you know, EJ, 16, uh, eight boards. Uh, you know, Tripp, 16, five, five assists. And Camille, 16, four rebounds. Um, uh, there's so many other guys. I mean, Reese Anderson, 16, yeah. five boards, five assists, one turnover. You know, I, so many guys had really, really good nights. <coughs> but, again, for me, what I really liked was the uh, the attitude and the approach um, on the defensive defensive end set of tone. Uh, never let Shorter <coughs> really back into the game until and even then. They finished the game on a 13-3 run, but you maintained that intensity uh, throughout the, the night. What's that say about your team? Well, I mean, the truth of the matter is, man, uh, and we just talked about it down there in the locker room, that, uh, you know, um, we, di we did not sustain – the level of intensity that we would want to have sustained. Uh, we were, uh, we were, I don't know what the lead was. We were, we, we, the push lead up there pretty good uh, the second half, and I think our guys sort of got a little, I don't know, just it got, I hate to say a little boring. It just sort of seemed like a little, it was a little lull. And what, what is, the, the overall situation wasn't as competitive maybe at that point. And we had a 25, 30 point lead, and, and, and then I sort of felt like we lost our just focus and showed that we're not ready to handle prosperity yet, you know. So it'll, it'll be a lesson for us, hopefully. Uh, Jay Shropshire <coughs> has a quality night, 24 points. The bulk of that comes uh, yeah. in the second half. We had six, six seven. Yeah, six of 12 from long range. Yeah. Uh, what would you do to bottle hut him up in the first half before he got frisky in the second half with the game pressure? Wasn't well, it? yeah, I, I, I think that's what you just said. I mean, we, we were really locked in with the scout, and we had the right matchups uh, in the second half. You know, those guys, those guys, to be honest, I think they knew that they were not going to win that game or pretty early in the second half, actually. And so now they're just running around, you know, drop kicking stuff in. So, you know, it's – it is what it is. I mean, I, uh, you don't want to take anything away from them, but the, the, the really the, the, the actual pressure uh, had subsided uh, for them, and they, and they, they got really pretty frisky. Uh, <laughs> you look at the first weekend – uh, with losses to Lee's McRae and King. What ended up uh, being the difference maker from those first two games to this win? Health? Well, health, yeah. Yeah, ava av available available bodies. I mean, you know, this past weekend for the most part, uh, and we had four of our um, older, more seasoned veteran guys that have proven they know how to, to, to compete at the college level that – we're, we're basically unavailable, uh, and, and that allowed other guys a chance to, to play, which was good for them. But, you know, it's like anything else. I mean, um, uh, who gets to play is a big part of the outcome. And tonight we had, 
you know, uh, Tripp, uh, Jalen in particular, both those guys uh, available tonight and, and, and performed well. So I, I think um, that's no, that again, that's no discredit to Lee McRae or, or King. Uh, but um, um, tonight we had a, we had a, comp a full complimentary roster, and, and I thought our guys performed with, with, with great zest and zeal. I gave up 20 <laughs> offensive rebounds to Shorter. Was was that a in part a product of a poor shooting night, or what do you owe that? Y to? Yeah, yeah. Th it's it's sort of a a couple things. You know, that w we held them to 37 percent in the field, so that they had a lot more opportunities to to collect those. We still out rebounded them for the game. Um, had 13 offensive boards of our own. So you know, um, that's going to happen. Uh, you know, am I am I am I happy that it was that number? No, I'm not. Uh, but they were. You know, they, 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 they had some good size out there. They were actually bigger than us. Uh, we, we, we had a smaller lineup there a lot, uh, uh, you know, but, but we, we were battling and fighting, and they just had more opportunities at it, and, and they, they collected them. Kind of a weird, <coughs> uh, at least cadence to the schedule here uh, to start the season. No Saturday game for you. Uh, you get to enjoy college football Saturday. Maybe yes. a little practice sprinkled in. But Monday, Tennessee Wesleyan re renew the old VSAC yep. rivalry. Uh, against the Bulldogs, what do you have to do to improve over the next uh, five days before Tennessee Wesleyan comes in here? Well, we want to make sure that we get completely healthy because we, we are still sort of, the, you know, some of these guys are still sort of struggling with, with joint issues, and, 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 and so we got to get healthy. Uh, we want to want to make sure we're learning from all these early experiences. I mean, dude, if you think about it, and you know this, uh, there's only one guy right now on this court for us that, that played substantial minutes with, with Nick Rogers and Cameron Andre being out uh, with injuries uh, and, uh, you know, Reese Anderson's the only one played, so all the guys that are playing are brand new, and we are very much in the in the in the throes of sort of figuring out the identity of this team and and, and the rotations and the personnel and and how we play together. So there are a lot of moving parts right now, but uh, we'll 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 continue to to sort of try to mesh and come together and put uh, the best product we can put on the court come next Monday. Chuck, pleasure as always. Congrats on a one thirteen to ninety eight win over the Shorter Hawks. Thanks, Cap. That is Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach. Chuck Benson. Quick look around the shopseeingeagles.com sack scoreboard some